The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, Instruments of Righteousness. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Romans 6, verse 13. The Lord has given you talents to use, and in using these talents as He intended they should be used, you will have increased aptitude and wisdom and clear spiritual eyesight to understand His work. Your mind and eyes must watch for His appearing, your ears open to hear the faintest whisperings of His voice. Your knees He has made, use them in kneeling in prayer. He is your strength. By faith, take hold of the unseen. Let your feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel for running obediently in the way of His commandments. Your tongue and voice are a talent given you of God to tell the story of His life, of His lessons, of His death, of His resurrection, of His ascension. Your bodily strength is to be devoted to the Master in fighting the good fight of faith on the battlefield, overcoming His enemies with, it is written. Your sympathies and energies belong to God. Use them to glorify your Redeemer. Cultivate the thought that you are not alone. All your steps are watched by the Lord. You are encompassed with vigilant angels. As the angels ministered unto Jacob, so certainly will they minister unto all the Lord's humble, contrite ones. Reach up higher and still higher, taking hold of one line of faith after another. Walk and work in love to God and the poor oppressed ones, and the Lord will be your helper. Verily, verily, I say unto you, hereafter ye shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. John 1 verse 51. Jesus, the precious Savior, the Son of the living God, is the latter uniting the celestial world with the terrestrial. His divinity lays hold on the throne of God. His humanity touches the earth. His human arm encircles the entire human race. Through Jesus Christ, the angelic ministrations in love, in comfort, in reproof, in light, reach us. O thank the Lord, for He is good, for His mercies endure forever.